Yuba County has seen some of the worst flooding in state history. We've had these extreme events in 1986 and 1997, and then now we're getting this information that our, our storms, our wintertime storms, are going to be more intense. Yuba Water is one of several agencies around the state working with the Center for Western Weather and Water Extremes, or CW3E. The research group at UC San Diego is dedicated to better understanding some of the most dangerous types of storms for the West Coast called atmospheric rivers. Improved forecast is a climate resilient strategy at all time scales, right? If you know a big source coming, you know when it's going to hit and you know how much precipitation you're, it's going to have, you can better prepare for that. These large water transport systems in the Pacific can at times deliver life-threatening floods. Knowing when they'll hit can help alert agencies like Yuba Water to start making room in their reservoir to reduce the risk of flooding. There will also be benefits from you know being able to better predict our annual um, precipitation and how we're going to fill our reservoir and how we're going to use that water for both irrigation and electric generation. But climate models are showing California will have this whiplash from wet to dry conditions. So it's also important to prepare for the lack of rain and snow from atmospheric rivers. We saw a glimpse of this during the historic drought from 2012 to 2016, when a stubborn weather pattern called a ridge blocked nearly all storms coming into the state. If we see persistent ridging that keeps going on and on and on, as occurred during the ridiculously resilient ridge during our last drought, then that's a good indication that uh, you know, we are not going to be experiencing any wet conditions in the next uh, out to six weeks, in fact. Historically, these longer range outlooks haven't been very accurate, but knowing California is heading into these extremes from wet to dry years, it's become a primary focus area. One of the things we've done at DWR is to pursue some experimental forecasting products with partners such as NASA or UC San Diego to see if we can improve seasonal forecast. These longer range forecasts will be especially important in a year like this one, since it looks like we may be heading into our second year of dry conditions.